Guess what, folks? We're eating flounder for dinner. Hey, what's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner. And what do you know? We are still down here in the Baja, California area. We've been staying in Magdalena. It's a little fishing village on the side of Mag Bay, Magdalena Bay. It's where it got its name from. Toby, the owner of Mag Bay Lodge, he invited us down. Now don't worry, we're paying, but he invited us down, wanted to show us around, and we've been, like, earlier today, it was so crazy. We were throwing topwaters, we caught rooster fish, jacks, Kubera snappers, which they call pargos. I even caught a puffer. So we were just running. It's like a 20 mile run back to the camp. And I saw this dock, like broken down dock. I'm like, yo, stop, pull in there. Made two casts and we had two bites. So I said, break out the camera. Old Mr. Survival here, goofy jig. This entire area is supported by commercial fishing, whether it be shrimps, lobster, clams, or scallops. That's what they do here. They commercial fish. They have very little tourism, no farming. So these men make their living on the sea. There should be flounder in there. There should be everything right there. There is, oh, look at the size of this thing. That's a giant flounder. Oh my Lord, that's the biggest flounder I've ever seen in my life. Are you stinking kidding me? Oh, this is my flounder. Look at this. Oh, oh. No! Come here! Come here! Whoa! <laughs> no way! No! Dude, look at that! Look at that! What? I literally, this was like, the top of my list, what I wanted to catch here. Little favorite rod, this is a bass rod. Are you kidding me? Wow! Dude, look at the chompers on that thing. Oh my gosh. I, I am speechless right now. To me, I like fishing for everything, so anytime I see something that looks fishy, I want to give it a shot. Oh, that's a fish. That's a fish. I don't know what I've got. What is this? Oh, it's another one of them leatherback things hooked in the side. I don't know how I got him out of that dock. Like, I mean, what is it about this place? It's just incredible. What do I have here? What is this? What on earth do I have? 
I caught a pipe fish! <laughs> Tell me I didn't just do that! <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Look at that! I literally just caught a pipe fish! That goes down in the record books as the strangest fish I have ever caught in my life. Most people would be like, oh, cook him, but you know what? That's awesome. Look at that. I've caught a horn belly, a flounder, and a pipe fish. This goes down in the record books as one of the strangest, most unique fish I have ever caught. I don't know if y'all enjoy just coming out here fishing with me like this. I mean, this is, to me, this is what I was all about as a kid. Fishing pole, whatever lures I had available, and, oh, missed him. And, and this is what I did. I, I wasn't, I was never into cartoons or none of that. I was into fishing and hunting. And believe it or not, I would typically act like I was talking to a camera. I, I just acted like I was on TV. And a lot of people probably thought I was crazy, but as Les Brown says, it's better to be prepared without an opportunity than to have an opportunity and not be prepared. Getting my workout in, y'all. All right, so that was perfect. We stopped, caught a whole bunch of fish, had a bunch of fun. We're gonna head back to camp. I don't know what we're gonna do, but we're just getting started. Hey, it's black dark and the party is still going. Look at that. I mean, I'll promise you he weighs at minimum eight pounds. I want to say 10, but he's at least eight. And I'm really excited about that. So here's all you do when you're filleting a flat fish. You come in right here, right up to the front of the head. Then you can actually feel it with your hand. There's a the center line runs straight back, just like that. I actually missed it by just a little bit, but it's okay. Follow it just back, just like that. Cut down, and then you're just gonna fillet that, that meat right off the side. Turn that knife just like that. Look at that. Beautiful piece of fish. Now this side's even easier. You've already got it cut there, and you just use your thumb to lift it, lift up the meat gently. I always watch the, the people up in Alaska that cut um, flounder and halibut and all this like all the time. They're so good at it and so fast. But the way I look, that is perfection. Then all you have to do is turn them over and, and do the same thing on this side. And the whole reason that, the whole reason I've got the, the blue rag here is because they're slimy and they tend to slip around on you. Most people don't realize how much meat is on a flounder or halibut. I'm not sure if this is a halibut or a flounder, what the heck it is. Guarantee one thing, Joker's gonna be good to eat.
Okay, so every morning when we wake up, Chena has an amazing breakfast made. Every afternoon when we come back to the lodge, she's got some amazing meal cooked. And she was actually gonna cook more of the yellowtail, but I was like, hey, I've got fresh flounder. She's like, we're gonna do that. So I just filleted it, now she's gonna portion it out. Mm-hmm, movie star. And she's cutting them into little fingers. But uh, tacos or? Oh, she's making, whoa. We are making authentic Baja California Mexican tacos with a flounder that I just caught about five miles from here. And if you wanna know the truth, it was still alive and I had to kill it for the video. So this is fresh as it can possibly be. This is like a real nice batter. I wanna taste this batter. Oh my goodness, that's good. Dude, check this out. 50 bucks says I buy that and take it home with me. The este is muy bien. I'm just telling y'all right now, this is gonna be good. Yeah, they just got stuck together. They're falling in love. Yeah, flip them over together. Holy mackerel, this looks good. I don't even know how to explain this, but it tastes like it has a hint of Everglades in it. That tastes so good. Mmm, mmm. Yes, please. Guacamole. Lechuga. Cucumber. Oh my lord. Okay, Gabe. Oh my goodness. If y'all only knew how hungry I was. What is this? Is uh, picante? No, it's not picante. It's probably hot. I'm so glad I walked up in here. <laughs> it's like a pit bull, dude. Mm. Hold up. My God, that's good. You have to make your own, son. That right there, that's what they're biting on. She's got, she's gonna lay out a whole entire meal. Man, um, that's good. Yeah. That salsa's got a kick to it at the end, mm -hmm. I can tell you. Woo! That's good. <laughs> you know, as a kid, me and Gabe grew up going down to the Keys with our family. Coming back, mom would make dinner, and it was always stuff that we caught that day. That's why I love doing this so much to this, to even to now, like I love this. This is the part of the day that I love the most. That stuff right there is the bomb mm. dignity. Try just that. Mm. <laughs> Holy cow. Winner, winner. We just ate us a flounder for dinner. Like seriously, that stuff right here. <clears throat> Gosh. Try it with nothing on it. That is so good. Hey, you guys, I appreciate you. Man. I appreciate y'all so incredibly much. This trip is nothing short of amazing. We still have three more days left. God knows what we're gonna get into, but I appreciate you making this possible. China, gracias. Everybody else, drop a thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you know how to speak Spanish, leave her a wonderful comment in Spanish telling her how much of a positive part of this video she was. But that's all I got for now. Take care, God bless, and we go.